green flag is out and we are racing here in 206 senior a good start for that inside line Seville trying to push Zing around the outside he's able to get through side by side with Cameron Reed Reed looks over see Zing is there on the inside I don't think Reed's gonna fight it too much this early in the race very very long 15 minutes plus two laps coming your way here uh, now and everybody single file line you see Frank looking back make sure that it's Zing and they're good to go and they want to pull away from the rest of the field now we've seen it throughout all the, all the heat races Again, it's uh, very, very close to them than what it was uh, compared to the heat races, Rocco. Yeah, that start was very important for Reagan Seville's championship as you see him try to go down the inside of Cameron Reed, and there's a oh. collision over there. Oh, my goodness. A couple of drivers collected. The 630 there is involved. That's uh, Braden. The 673 as well is involved. Uh, McLeod, the 648 involved as well on what seems to be Ian Columbus and one driver uh, of Jacob Oaks off the racetrack there. Uh, unfortunately, uh, getting out of the go-kart now, uh, but that was uh, a big, big contact there. He's up and out of the go-kart, but the red flag is out in the air, so we wait. So Jacob Oaks is all right. He's up and talking to the medic now. Uh, it seemed like uh, he had some pain there uh, after that crash, so through the red flag. Green flag in the air. We are racing once again in 206 senior. Frank able to get that uh, jump done again. Zing able to get through. Seville drops a tire there into the dirt and it all gets real close here. Seville lost a lot of spots. That restart not going to his favor. Plays Dornbaum. Drops the tire into the dirt. And Bryce Frank and uh, Kelvin Zing working together. You see him point forward there. Cameron Reed right on the bumper of Zing. You might see those four work together here. That's how 206 racing usually plays out in the opening laps. Carter Kilgo sitting in the fourth spot. That's a fellow teammate in the RA and the AR uh, Academy program as Harold looking on the inside of Oliver. He couldn't get through, but Seville was. So Seville able to switch spots with his teammate. Seville now sits in the fifth spot. Now further up ahead, it's still the same top three, or should I say uh, top five since we saw Reagan uh, get to P5. Now Reed is going to go down the inside and split up the MGMs. Uh, demote Kelvin Singh to uh, P3. Reagan Seville uh, trying to get close there to Kelvin Singh, but gets a, a poor exit coming out of turn three, so he falls way back behind Kelvin Singh. Definitely has the pace to get it done. I mean, we've seen how quick he's been, especially at his home track at Team Sports Racing Park at the end of last year. But Cameron Reed, to talk about pace, she's definitely got it in that CRG Reed Motorsports machine. She looks to go through for the, for the first spot. She gets it done, and there's Bryce Frank. Falls back to the second spot, I believe, for what's been the first time this weekend uh, on somebody who's uh, not his teammate in Kelvin Zink. So somebody else can lead the 206 senior field away for this lap. It's Cameron Reed in the CRG machine. Bryce Frank right behind Cameron Reed. A car length in between them and Reagan Seville going to get past. Jacob Oliver went through and would you look at that? The teammates fighting here and Reagan Seville now looking to go back on to Carter Kilgo. Oliver wanted to lead that group. He was able to get through. Seville lost a lot of time there. Now Bryce Frank going to go side by side with Cameron Reed. Reed not going to fight at all too much. And going to give the spot there to Bryce Frank. So Frank goes back up to the point of the field. The top three is definitely working together quite nicely. Uh, you see Jacob Oliver wanting to get around his teammate of uh, Reagan Seville. So they drop back just a little bit. We'll see Reagan and Jacob Oliver push together now. Rocco, that's not quicker than your top three. He's about a tenth off at the moment from the top three. And you see that gap open up just that little bit so they're losing time for sure those gfc machines losing time to the top three here of cameron reed kelvin Singh, and bryce frank so i don't know if a change is going to be necessary here for reagan seville but he can definitely uh, kind of notice those top three inch away just a little bit they're holding it down right now as far as uh the gfc cards go the lap times aren't really improving much and they're losing time to the front so reagan seville and the carts behind are going to notice that and they're going to want to get around jacob oliver they lost two tenths that lap and Reagan Seville knows it. He has to get through. He gets through that time around. Jacob Oliver looking to hold on to the run on the outside on Carter Kilgo. He's able to get it done. And for Carter Kilgo, imagine in the position that he's in, he sees his two teammates out in front. And, uh, you know, you want to get up there, but do you push the guys that, you know, you've been battling with all year long, the, uh, the championship rival to your teammate? Harold, though, going to try and split them up. They're going to go side by side there through the S's. A little bit of wheel banging. Harold's able to get through into the bowl. You see the lead fading away here, almost a whole straightaway away now for the top three who are working together really, really well. And it's it's working out for them here. They're pulling away and, and continuing to extend their gap. So Reed, as long as she sees the Frank uh, out ahead, she's going to be happy to do it. And Zing thinks that he's faster than Reed. That's going to slow them up just a little bit. That's exactly what Seville wants to see. Uh, but now the two FGN is going to try to get away here. The top two running two tenths quicker than anybody else here this weekend. And 
absolutely unheard of. This is not what you'd expect to see in a 206 race, to see two drivers pull away from the rest of the field. A group of uh, about five is just absolutely insane. Man, uh, some weekends you're on it, and unfortunately for this weekend, for Reagan Seville, something to miss. He's not, uh, unfortunately, in contention uh, for the race victory. And there goes Carter Kilgo on the inside of Jensen Harrell. What a move there by Carter Kilgo to get up there ahead of the Kurt Republic. He's now going to chase down Reagan Seville. This time by for the MGMs, white flag in the air. Yeah, this is not the scenario that Reagan Seville wanted because if he could have clinched uh, the title here at uh, DKC, he would have used his drop race to uh, go on vacation for uh, Amarillo, but I think he's going to have to put those boots back on because these two up in front are working flawlessly and just decimating this field right now. They've dropped Reagan, I mean, sorry, Cameron Reed in third. Those two MGMs have been flawless all weekend long. Bryce Frank and Kelvin Zing, those two might as well cross the finish line together, uh, and it seems like they're not going to fight it out too much. It's been a long time coming this year, but Bryce Frank going to take the checkered flag and win in Caddo Mills. Kelvin Zing across the line in second. A 1-2 for MGM and a 1-2 for the AR Academy. Cameron Reed comes across in third.